hi guys so welcome back to my channel um as you can tell i look a bit weird i've put on my foundation and my concealer but nothing else because i want to use products that you've never seen me use before or maybe i only used it once but i have this foundation on this is the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation in the shade classic ivory and i've mixed it in with my nyx pro pro foundation mixer this is a bit too pink for me it's not that it's too dark but it's too pink so i mix it in so it can match a little bit um and as my concealer i'm wearing the Too faced born this way i need to use this up because i have a new one um but i want to use my friend gave me this laritzy cosmetics um it's like a cream bronzer in the shade aloha and i want to use that so i'm going to actually use some cream products today so first i will contour with my nip and fab contour stick in cool taupe or fix sticks definition um and i'm going to contour a little bit or a lot and I'm not so good at this so <laughs> it's okay to laugh there we go mm, and then I'm taking uh, the sponge that I used This stick I, I have used once and I I really like it. I think it's easy to blend and it's the perfect contour shade for my uh, pale skin. And my face looks really dewy and that is because of the uh, foundation. There we go. <clears throat> then I'm going to try this. Aloha bronzer. So I guess I'm just going to take it where I normally would bronze. I'm scared, but we'll start with that. This was actually uh, pretty easy to blend. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to try a little bit more there. This is not something that I would do every day because this takes a lot more time than just my ordinary. Uh, Bronzing. So now I have a pretty bronzed face. Um, yeah, this looks pretty, pretty. Um, I'm then going to take a. Um, highlighting stick this is the illuminating strobe cream by Barry M in the shade frosty pink um, and I have uh, never used this basically I've only swatched it it's a pink highlighting stick so I'm just going to try this um, although this removed my foundation a bit so I might take it on my finger instead and pat it on. Thank you. 
There we go. I actually want to try another liquid highlighting product that I have. Mm, I have this Buxom Divine Goddess Illuminizer in the shade Venus. I have never used this. Uh, and it's a more of a golden highlight. Um, but let's try it. I've applied some of it onto my hand. Ooh, this looks pretty. It might be a little bit too golden for me, but my face is <laughs> a bit, yeah. Ooh, this was pretty. Um, yeah. That looks cool. Uh, I'm going to set my face with the L'Oreal translucent powder. And I'm going to set it everywhere, even though I've applied some highlighting things. Hopefully it will shine through. Um. And my concealer has creased. <laughs> so the highlighter is it got kind of covered with the powder and I, I uh, suspected that, so... But it looks a little bit more dewy than it normally does, and I do have a quite of a contour going on. Uh, I'm going to contour my face and bronze my face and do my brows. Um, but I'm going to do that off camera, so I'll be right back. There we go, my base is done and really, really glowing. Um, I will not go out like this today. I'm going away tonight, so I'm going to redo my makeup. This is... I just wanted to try some new stuff and I want to match my yellow sweater today so I'm actually going to do a eye makeup look with the Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division palette and I'm going to do a green orange uh, look so yeah if you want to see that please keep on watching I'm zooming you in a little bit um, and I'm going to clean as my blinding highlight today, I'm wearing the Soph, Soph uh, highlighting palette and I'm wearing um, this color. I think this palette is absolutely stunning. Um, I would not look this glowy if I go to work, but since it's Saturday today. Um, I want to do, as I said, a green, yellow, green green yellow green <laughs> green orange yellow look so i'm going to start out with that shade no i'm going to start out with that shade there in my crease and i do like the other palette better than this um actually um i have a look up on that i can link it down below um that I filmed a week ago um, but I don't know when I will be posting this but the, I do like the other palette better um, this shade this shade already has hard pan and I've tried to uh, take it away but it doesn't work and this shade works only with fingers and a lot of uh, fixed plots if I use a brush 
this had a little bit of fallout so I'm just going to uh, wipe that away god I look glowing I'm also wearing the flower beauty sealed deal hydrating setting spray in dewy finish and <laughs> that probably helped um, the yellow is done I'm then going to darken this a little bit using this orange shade there And I'm not taking it as far up as the yellow one. Um, I'm just trying to blend those two together. Um, that's the darker shade done. Then um, I think I want to do it a little bit more darker. So I'm actually going to take this shade. This is a purple brown. And I'm not sure how this will work, but I'm just going to clean my brush on my Veramona color switch. And take some of that on the same uh, fluffy brush. And concentrating that on the, on the lid space uh, in the outer corners. And this worked pretty good actually. I want to incorporate the green, so I'm going to take this uh, matte dark green uh, and also blending that in the outer corners. If you blend too many colors together, it can easily look muddy. Uh, it's starting to look a little bit muddy on me now, so I'm going to stop. I think I want to do a cut crease today with concealer. I have never done that, so... And this is a video where I do try out some new techniques, so I'm going to try to do that. Um, so I'm going to take some of my Tarte Shape Tape uh, But first I have some fallout There we have it. Um, I'm just going to take some of that um, um, darker green shade and blend on the edge a bit. So 
Then I'm going to take this lime uh, shimmer shade green um, on a flat brush. And press it on. For being my first time, I definitely think that that looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same to the other eye. Glitter, glitter and shimmer fallout, it's not something that I would have had, but now I have it here. Um, for being my first, hold on, for being my first time uh, doing a cut crease, I do believe it looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to try to darken the outer corners a bit, um, I just don't know how um, but probably I will probably try and take that darker green shade there It's much better. I'm taking that darker green under my eyes a bit. Then I'm going to take that orange shade we used and blend that out under the eyes. See what I'm doing. I go is um, then I'm also going to take that orange shade and try to blend the, the crease a little bit better. As my um, inner corner highlight. Um, no, wait. I don't know. I think this looks really sharp, um, but maybe that's the point with with this. Um, as my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the green in this uh, Lottie London Shimmer Squad. That one is green and it's called The Gossip. Um, and I'm taking that on my um, lash line, lower lash line. This is actually a really pretty color and I'm glad I bought this palette because before I didn't think that I needed the uh, duochrome highlighters but now that I um, have watched a lot of Angelica Nyquist uh, and she use it, uses it on her inner corners I now uh, found a way to use it. 
Um, there we go. I think this eye looks better than that eye because this eye is a little bit more like blended. Um, I don't know if I can fix this, but I'm, I'm going to try to fix it. Um, I think it just needs a little bit more dark uh, uh, green here. Ah, I don't know. I have a lot of shimmery fallout here, but I can't get rid of it. And hopefully you can't see it. Um, I really want to do um, um, like a um, a green um, pen in my waterline. Um, so I'm actually going to take a. Let me see what I have. Um, this little container is full of my green eyeliners, and I have most. Uh, the ones I have most of is green. Uh, let us try this. This is the Colourpop uh, Cream Gel Liner in Teaspoon. This is broken, but we can try it. It's more of a lighter green shade. I'm sorry if you hear some noise in the background, it's my washing machine. There we go, green eyeliner on. on. Um, then I'm going to tight line. Um, I'm going to tight line with the, the NYX faux blacks in uh, black olive. Um, I'm going to put on the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. This is the final look with mascara and some waterline liner. Um, I want to use um, I actually want to try to use lashes today and I have this from the pen. This is the Elia lashes from the pen. And uh, lashes is something I never do, so this shall be interesting. Um, but first I'm going to choose a lip color. And uh, I, we might go for something brown. Yeah, let's go for uh, Give Me Mocha by uh, Wet n Wild, the Liquid Cat Suits one. Mm, it looks pretty okay. I'm going to try to <laughs> apply the uh, lashes off camera and I'll be right back. So this is the finished looks look with the lashes on. Um, I struggled really hard with this eye and it actually has separated there. But if we can ignore that and look at the other eye, I think that this looks pretty good. Um, even my cut crease looks pretty good. I do like the length of these lashes, but I definitely need to practice more. Um, because, yeah, this one is a total mess. Uh, I'm shouldn't have put on mascara first uh, um, yeah uh, let me see if this is too much las lashes for my glasses oh it's fine um, so this is uh, the finished look um, I really like it I like the cut crease I love the lip color my face looks really dewy um, yeah I think I want to use, try and uh, use more lashes and just practice because I think it looks uh, pretty awesome with these long lashes. Um, yeah. 
okay guys thank you so much for watching and please leave a, a thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe if you haven't already i upload every thursday and sunday uh, as of now um and uh, please let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else you want to see on my channel and um until i make another video you guys please take care bye